Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you guys who don't know me, my name is Corinne Jane. And for those of you guys who do know me, hey boo. So today I'm just showing you guys how I slick down my TWA, my taper cut. Y'all know I cut my hair. I'll leave all the links to details about my hair, like just my big chop video in the description box. For those who are interested, sorry my mirror was wild. And this red color, if you're interested, I'll also leave that link in the description box. But why is this mirror nuts? Okay. So yeah, so I got this little swoop action going on or whatever, no relaxer, you feel me? Just, yes. And this is just like a little scarf that I threw on. Thank you guys so much for clicking on my video in the first place, I really appreciate it. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and add me on Snapchat at J. and let's jump into the video. Okay, so right here, you guys, this is super old, dirty hair. Like, it's super old and dirty. For this um, slick down little thing thing, I'm going to use my Crystal Eco Styler Gel. Okay, so first, I'm just going to spray my hair with a whole bunch of water because I want it to be as wet as possible. Then I'm just going to slather the gel on there and brush it down. That's really it. Um, in my experience, it's easier, well, helpful to go in sections like this if your hair is thick. My hair is not super thick, but it's not fine either. If your hair is fine, you probably don't need to do all these little, you know, little sections. You can probably just slick it down all at once. But if your hair is not fine, then it's best to go in these little sections because everything will lay smoother and it's just better and like now in the beginning of the video my hair was super dry and like it was dirty and i should have put moisturizer in my hair like i should have moisturized before i did all this but i didn't i mean <laughs> i just didn't because first of all i thought it was gonna make the gel soft you know if you put like any leave-in or cream underneath i didn't want it to like flake up or anything and then also, like, I'm going to wash it out anyway. So I was just like, man, whatever. But, yeah, I just wanted to do this tutorial for y'all real quick because I don't know how long my hair is going to stay this length because y'all know your girl hair be growing like weeds. You feel me? Oh, yeah, but I couldn't even find my comb, which is why I'm parting with my nails. And, y'all, the struggle was real. Like, I use my rat tail comb for everything, and I just could not find it. So that's when acrylics come to the rescue. Do you hear me? And, but yeah so i just want to show you guys how i slicked it down I'm like oh this would be cute you know but um best believe i probably would not actually wear it like this out because like i don't know the back just look like ramen noodles like you'll see like you'll see in the end but like i feel like this is just cute like a cute base you know for like a hair wrap like in the beginning or a hat or you know just something like i don't know we all here need to be lay you know
so for my little shave side, I like to slick it down and do my little designs or whatever. I like using this little toothbrush. It's not the one I use for my teeth. Do not get it twisted. Like, don't do not do that. But it's not the one for my teeth. But it's like this little one I have for a while now. And as you can see, I'm doing like these little bootleg finger waves or whatever. But since my hair is textured, it's not going to exactly replicate the actual finger waves. So it's, um, what can we call them? Like tidal waves or... No, that's still stupid. I don't know, but it's still on. It's still on swim swim though. Like it's still bomb. So yeah. Okay, so now I'm finished brushing my hair down. So I'm gonna put my scarf on, and I was letting it dry with and without heat for a total of like 40 minutes. But you guys, my hair is natural, so it's not gonna be dry within that time frame. It probably wasn't gonna be in dry until late at night. It's still wet right now. Like it's still damp. So I just took the scarf off anyway, and then I had these little things, like, no, what is, it was like some little goops, like, from the gel, but I just, you know, wash, just wiped it off with my fingers, and then, you know, just got my blow dryer to blow dry some of it off, and I spread a little tiny water on it, then it was good as new, I mean, I mean, what can you do, you know, so I just did that, and I hooked up the finger waves some more, the tidal waves, but, um, yeah, so that's mainly it. <laughs> tutorial as you can see this part I have to hook it back up after um, I took off the scarf because it looked a little you know it didn't look sleek anymore so I have to hook it back up so be prepared to do that if you follow this tutorial but also just thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like let me know what you think about this hairstyle down in the comments and subscribe and all of that we almost have 40,000 so I'm excited but yeah so that's really it and like I said my hair is all natural um, I don't have a relaxer or a text laxer or anything like that. My hair is 100% natural and that's really it for this video. So, thank you so much for watching. Bye.